Hello. Well, this week I'm going to take you on a garden tour here at PDX Garden Home. It is beginning of May, um, and kind of let you see, uh, uh, let you see the whole garden. I, I, it's, I don't do this very often, so hopefully, I my cinematography will be enough that you can kind of see uh, enough of different things to get a sense of the layout. Most of the time, when I'm doing garden videos, you often see me in the north, what I call the north garden. Um, kind of have this area broken out by direction. The north garden is where we get most of the sun. It's where the vegetables are, the greenhouse, the potting bench, it's where a lot of the action is. So uh, come along with me and I will uh, take you on a tour of, of all of that. So these are thornless blackberry bushes um, and they are highly productive. They are very sweet. The berries are really big. My dad used to have thornless blackberries, and I thought they were never that sweet compared to the regular kind of thorned ones. Um, but I, I love these that we have here. On the far end there, you can see uh, that's where all that, that cage over there is, uh, where the peas are. I like to grow a lot of sugar snap peas. There are, on one side, on the left side, there is the is some snow peas and on the right side is some shelling peas um, just for completeness. <laughs> uh, the fruit trees here that are uh, done with this espalera, there's a variety of um, apples and pears, uh, the uh, Asian pear, there's a peach tree and there's a cherry tree uh, in that mix there. This bed that I'm passing here is or the series of beds is actually um, a new design. In prior videos, you'll see that I had grass pads in between fewer beds. Okay, as we come along here, along this is what I call Lilac Row. There's actually three lilac trees there. Um, we're going to be passing that um, behind us, so you won't you won't see that as easily there. And uh, then this is the what was the main the main veggie garden. Um, and with uh, raised beds that was there actually when I brought the property in but I changed out the I refurbished the wood used new wood and um, beefed up the beds with more compost and that kind of thing put in the uh, cedar chip paths those bags there in, in front of the greenhouse those are actually grow bags for potatoes that's something new this uh, horseshoe bed back here that's that flower bed was um, planted out by the former owners years ago, probably over a decade ago, um, and it's just, it's got a lot of great perennials in it, and it's beautiful. It's the nursery area that I have in the back here, um, and then along here, along the property line here is the raspberry row. There's about a good 20 feet of raspberries there. This is another nursery area uh, where I've got seedlings uh, growing on, getting ready to be planted out. Uh, in the garden and then that of course you're looking into there is my new potting bench area that I've made several videos about this year um, I and I've really been enjoying it it's worked out exactly the way I wanted it to um, and then here's the greenhouse and I've got a lot of stuff all the warm warm weather stuff is uh, growing up here, uh, so the peppers will stay in here, melons will stay in there, but the uh, there were a lot of uh, petunias you saw in there, and then of course the tomatoes, those will all come out and go into the field. Um, and uh, yeah, this uh, row of tulips here, this was my first tulip bed. That's where I traditionally have grown tulips. Uh, we're going to leave the north garden now, and I'm taking you through through my potting shed here. <laughs> and onto the deck which is not particularly exciting this time of year because it's still rainy I don't have the garden furniture uncovered um, so we're gonna pass we're gonna pass by the deck here I'll just show you a couple I've got some bu some uh, bushes here azaleas of beautiful colors that'll be coming out and then there's the west side garden which is a shaded area as well it extends from the front driveway across the west side of the property and on the west side garden here, um, this is the it's the side garden to the garage. It's very shady in here, but we're growing um, some snapdragons, which I hope will they flowered last year, so I hope to see they'll continue to flower. Um, 
and see other kind of west of the driveway there's just kind of a uh, a little bit of garden space there just have a few plants there nothing particularly spectacular this what we're looking at here is what we call the south lawn garden um, that south lawn there has been a challenge to keep grass in it it's mostly a moss field um, and the circles that you see there is I had uh, I have a bunch of whiskey barrels I had like 11 whiskey barrels and so I had them in the lawn there over the winter um, so we're passing by the south lawn here and the kind of the beds in here um, it's got some great perennial bones that I can't take credit for it was put down by the former owners that were great gardeners um, I still have yet to really plant it out with with what I want to plant out there yet I did put this path in here along the outer hedge and then as we enter the woodland garden this is the south uh, the southeast woodland garden and I put this path in here so I could create beds along the path I haven't really created beds per se like I didn't put compost down or anything um, I just let it be natural and then uh, planted a few things planted some ferns planted a, a row of columbines which we passed just a minute ago on the right um yeah and uh kept the limbs in here kept trimmed away so that there is some understory space here to play with uh but haven't really been successful in doing much with it it's very dry it's very it's shady and dry and and, and for Oregon it's very dry I should say And then we've got the East Garden, which is what I'm standing in now, um, where we've got uh, a lot of plants, uh, this thing we call the round here, um, which I kind of fill up with, with flowers of various kinds. Um, um, got a nice kind of sitting bench area here, and again, good perennial bones put in by the former owners of the property. Uh, and then the annual flowers and things are just things that I've put in there uh, recently. That's just a beautiful kind of bluish purple azalea bush there but uh, this round I, I don't know what it was intended to be to begin with I'm planning to kind of when I got here it had a bunch of blueberry bushes in it which I moved out to the sunning area so that we could actually get blueberries which has worked we get a lot of blueberries now um, so I don't know what was in that round to begin with uh, we built the fire pit here um, see my whiskey barrels there <laughs> Uh, no, there's no whiskey in those barrels. They're just decoration. This is the herb bed. Um, it's for perennial herbs. I don't grow the annuals over here, but it does it does just great uh, by the end of summer here. And now we're entering what we call the middle garden. Um, but then we also do have a what I call the middle garden. That's where I have the, the stream, the water feature, um, and uh, some garden beds, some decks with strawberries hanging off of it. The far end there is the potting shed. Um, and so in between the herb garden and the potting shed is the middle garden. That's a bay leaf tree that I'm staring at there. Um, and then just your kind of standard Mediterranean herbs underneath the tree there. There's some thyme and some uh, rosemary and things of that nature. As we go through the Mediterranean garden here, uh, I put in the pots and I put in uh, some of the annual flowers, the tulips and that kind of thing. But again, the perennial bones were here. Um, I put in grapes along the deck there then strawberries in the baskets that are along the deck there. But then I created this stream feature from a dry bed stream that was kind of, they had a stream motif, but they didn't have a real stream. So I put in the water feature, made it a real stream. Really enjoy that. This is what we call the rose gate. This is a, a client, or I don't know what, I don't know what you would call it, but it makes the, it just makes just proliferation of lots of white pinkish roses um, when it gets into bloom and as we go through the rose gate from middle garden we get back to where we started we're back into the the north garden here and into the uh, fruit orchard the uh, central and main um, veggie gardens it's the tulip row and uh, the greenhouse well i hope you enjoyed that i certainly did thank you all <laughs>